won that day for the off, yeah. Are we off yet? So we're here after the Shoreline Aquaforce game where Hina have just lost 1-0. Um, with me I have got manager Glenn Clarence, coach Steve Huntington and debutant goalkeeper Jason Fisher. Um, Glenn, today from where I've stood there's a lot of positives to take out of it. What would you like to share there? Um, yeah, I, don't know, I thought we, we had a game plan first half and it worked for large periods of it but I think we ran out of steam. Um, resolute first half but second half we, we changed the shape and we had a go and I might be roasting to glasses or not but I think we um, dominated the second half against the uh, possible league winners and had them on the ropes for probably I don't know 80-90% of the second half stonewall penalty that the referee and the linesman I haven't seen this what were attendance today? Um, 344 well, 342 people saw the handball on the line Two officials didn't, but well, that's football in it at the end of the day. Not going to put Rose things on. Both sides have had chances. We've, we've had a couple of decent saves, one off the line, um, at defence of them. We've had a few chances, but. We've just sat in there, we, we, we're not going to go win, win something, but today we were second half super. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, Steve, straight on to you there. Um, a lot of today's part of the Groundhop weekend, a lot of uh, Groundhoppers are here, they've paid money to come for the weekend. They were all impressed with what Heen has done today. Um, how far away from full potential do you think that was today? Uh, I think I think it's probably the best we've played all season. Um, completely dominated the game. Um, I've just I've gone in there and I've said well, you've absolutely bossed them. You, you've murdered them. There's only one side on, um, and I don't like to make. It's not an excuse. I don't let necessarily like that to put the uh, the emphasis on the the officials. But ultimately today, if it wasn't for a, a, a poor decision in the first half to give the free kick that we concede the goal from, mm. and then an absolutely shocking uh, bunch of decisions to not see the handball on the line, which is then a penalty and a sending off, you know, and all you get from them is we, we didn't see it. Well, you know, there's a lot of people here, there's a lot of officials here yeah. uh, from the, 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 the league. Maybe they should start putting referees that are capable of refereeing the game because that is absolutely unacceptable today. Get in a position where you can see things, not come out with an excuse, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Uh, we would, we'd have equalised then, we'd have gone on to win the game. Even if we hadn't have gone on to win the game, Tony, uh, we'd have got what we deserved, which was at least a point. I'm, I'm, I'm very rarely upset when I come on here, because I've learned in football that anything can happen. I'm upset tonight. The lads were absolutely fantastic, and it's just not right. And believe it or not, Steve is actually sitting on a fence while I said that. Excellent. So... Fish, welcome to you, mate. Um, great start today. A few one-on-ones in there. You've thrown yourself in really bravely. Um, there's a few people listening to this, maybe one or two, and next-door neighbour's dog. Do you want to tell them where you've been before? A little bit of past playing experience. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've played in this league uh, for Retford uh, with Brett Marshall, um, and I've played against Ian a couple of times, and and it, it was a really good, good game to be involved in today. Um, it was just exciting the second half. I wouldn't get something out of the game, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think Glenn's hit it on the head there. Some of the decisions mm -hmm. um, could have gone our way and it's it's one of the best second halves in particular that I've been involved in in football. Um, so yeah, uh, I was made to feel welcome by the, the staff and, and all the players and the fans. So Excellent. it was a brilliant, brilliant day, apart from the apart from the three points that we uh, could have could have got, I thought. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, mate. Um, yeah, cheers for your time there, gents. Are you Rosie, pal? Nick, Nick, you've given everything today, son. Come on, boys. Come on, boys.